Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of the Champions League jersey review. As you may hear from my voice, I unfortunately got a pretty bad cold and as I'm for the first time in a long time not shooting all the videos in sequence but more or less on a per need basis, yeah. We have to do it this way but I wanted to get this one in before the international break. As always, the jerseys in here and we're looking here now only at Group C and Group D from the Champions League. I grade them on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best. All the pictures that I'm showing I've taken from footy headlines. And we are running with e group by group and within group by some sort of alphabetical way, more or less how I call these teams. And I would say we'll get straight started with it and we'll start in Group C with Braga, who after having been with Hummel for a while are now with Puma. I have to say a move that I'm not exactly excited about because I think all the Hummel shirts before uh, looked better than this one. It's not a bad shirt. Um, it is the typical Braga look like Arsenal. Uh, I just find the pattern in there. Before it was always kind of, you know, there was a map in there. There was a little bit connection to the city or to the history of the city. And now we just have a dotted pattern that looks like meteor showers come coming coming down kind of doomsday scenario. So uh, for that reason, I'm not so super sold, but it is as far as a Braga shirt goes. And most Braga shirts look actually quite nice. I have, have to say it's not a bad jersey per se, but I will not give it more than seven stars uh, because it's just a, a special something is missing. Uh, similar style for the away jersey, uh, to be honest. Yes, it doesn't look bad. I actually like the squares where they uh, kind of tilted and they get closer and closer. The color scheme is also quite nice overall. It's too templatey. I would like to have, if such a pattern is on there, I would love to see a little bit more connection with the city, but this is what smaller brands are for. Again, not a bad jersey. I actually like uh, everything about it. It's very well put, put, put together. Even to the pattern, you uh, even don't see the sponsor all that much. So I'm gonna give it the same grade as before. Um, you just get my drift. Uh, it is not as special as it was before. Let's just frame it this way. And then we have the third jersey. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the choice of color, to be honest. But yeah, yeah I guess they need a one too. But this is the one that I like least, although it has probably the most attractive. Nah, I wouldn't say the most attractive pattern, but uh, uh, the color uh, turn, 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 turns me off. So for me, this is just uh, an uh, average jersey, and that's why it gets an average grade. And we're moving on to the team that I'm wearing, the Italian champions, Napoli. That, the European home jersey is very, very similar to the league home jersey. Uh, just, you know, sponsor sizing and sleeve sponsors and, and, and so on. And I'm of two minds about it. First off, it looks like a Napoli jersey. There's no navy blue and as much as I liked last season's jer uh, jersey, I always had the feeling it doesn't look quite Napoli. This looks like Napoli. There's no doubt about it. I also like the Italian flag sleeve cuffs. This is great. Actually, this looks very close to what I would like an Italian national team jersey to look like. Maybe a darker tone, tone of blue and we're done. So that is all great. I think it's Scudetto. It looks all perfect. The white piping though, it cheapens the look of the jersey a teeny bit. I think if you would have gone all blue here, I really would have loved this jersey a whole lot more than I do. It's still a really good one, I have to say, uh, but just... You know, the piping, it just scripts cheapish, so, so, so to say. But I like it quite some, so I'm going to give this eight stars. And I'm happy to see a classic Napoli jersey. And of course, uh, having their own brand, they can actually do it. They don't have, have to do all the planning that much beforehand. It gets them rather quickly done. And so after, the Itali uh, after winning the Italian Championship, they of course put a little bit of flourish in there as well. The away jersey, kind of same thing, and here the European jersey is worse than the uh, league jersey, because the league jersey uh, has the Mount Vesuvius on it. Here, yes, it's white. I think the piping in dark blue, yes, if you have the sponsors in dark uh, blue, I understand it, or black. But all the cuffs in light blue, I mean, again, it looks like an Italian shirt. The piping turns me off. That's probably the biggest thing I can say about this one. Uh, but you know, again, it's not a bad one, but I like the home jersey better. So I'm going to go uh, with six here. Um, and we're off to Real Madrid, which probably is the most high profile shirt that, that, that they will look at. And I think I really like what they've done color wise here with the Real Madrid shirt. Um, 
the navy and the um, gold slash yellow is very befitting of the club and it's very similar to the shirt that I have up, up there. I think it looks real, real class overall. The one thing, and you know it, and I don't have a pic pic picture of it here, is A, the nasty underarm patches on the back uh, that kind of ruin the look. I think a uh, class Real Madrid jersey would be just white on the back. And the other thing is, of course, the placement of the World Cup winners patch above the Adidas logo when you could very well place it centrally. Those are my two biggest gripes with this shirt. But yeah, uh, initially it's a wow, this looks really cool. Um, few things that bug me, but I think it's a really well crafted shirt that looks quite nice. Adidas have done a good job. And with Real Madrid, you don't need to do something special. You just have to add a little bit of classy touch. That's what they have done here. I would say this is also for me an eight star jersey. The away jersey, I can say very similar things. I really like the dark blue. I like that the, the stripes in, uh, up there are in three different colors, which is really, really cool. It adds a nice effect to, to it. And then in addition, a little bit of uh, yellow sleeve um, a band. Looks all really cool. Same thing, placement of the World Cup winners logo. And I am not sure about this wavy pattern in there. I think if you leave it plain or make it, uh, you know, less so obvious, I think you have a really, really cool looking shirt there. It's not a bad shirt at all, but I think it could do more. I think actually having uh, this a little bit lighter makes it a little bit more dull looking. And so for me, that doesn't quite do it. Again, still a really nice shirt but just not quite carding it. Uh, so I'm gonna go seven here, although I really like the color, color because given some of the ideas that they're putting in here. The third jersey, um, except for the gray sleeve cuffs and maybe the Real Madrid logo, I think this one could have gone f almost full color or at least have the band. Uh, it, makes, it makes the logo look cheaper. Other than that, black with yellow, I think is really, really cool. I would think either forget about the three stripes up the top or make them yellow. I think with yellow it might have make them uh, may, might have make it a little bit cheap. I would have gone uh, for the all black look that would have looked really really cool. The crest, I think I would have the other color of the band honestly. But yeah, it is what it is. I do like this one uh, but maybe not as much as a, for instance the centenary one but you know it's also an eight star Real Madrid looking good this season. Moving on to a Champions League newbie in Union Berlin, uh, their home jersey, and I find it so weird. I mean, uh, you almost don't recognize Union Berlin anymore. Now the sponsor is Paramount Plus, that's kind of a big conquer company, and Union Berlin is still, for me, a small cult team. Other than this, it's a typical Adidas template, cannot say much about it. It's very much Union Berlin, but it's also not something exciting. It's also not bad, but uh, here, of the home jerseys in this group, this is the most average one. Uh, in six and in the Champions League they've released a special European jersey in black and gold based on a t-shirt that they have released uh, when they qualified for the Champions League. It's debuted in, at, at the Real Madrid. Yes, it has an interesting template pattern in there. It's also not very much Union Berlin, but you know, that's a different story. I also find the color scheme is a little bit like two years on the back of a trend. So yeah, the golden could be a little bit more goldeny. Again, nothing bad, uh, but very much averagey Union Berlin. I also gonna give this six stars, but overall I have to say this is a pretty good looking group. Let's move over to group D, Benfica. Uh, and again, this is an Adidas template. This is more or less a Spain jersey or we'll see later the Roma jersey, but here it really works. For Benfica, I have to say it really works. I especially like the color with the uh, white, uh, red, white. That is really cool. Uh, that's a hell of a, a template jersey, but it's a hell of a jersey that makes a whole lot of sense to me. I uh, love what Benfica is doing here. Um, I actually want to go as high as uh, nine is probably. It's also an eight star jersey, but, uh, but you know, it works really, really well for Benfica. The away jersey is also something really, really nice and you know Benfica celebrating 120 years. So they put down uh, the center stripe, uh, all the five colors that are present in the crest. However, oh, that's my mind, those are the Olympic colors as well. So I think this is really nicely done, adds a little touch. Yes, I am not sure about the white band around the collar. Uh, that one I could probably could have let go. 
all of that. Again, a really nice and very unique effort. And this kit is all, already receiving quite some praises uh, overall. It's another like. I actually think this is the one I like best so far with the nine stars. Um, and a same theme also goes for the away jersey. Um, in white with a little, a little bit red, but you can already make out there are some colors on the side that I show you the promo pick makes it even more apparent that again they choose the five colors from the crest and pull it on the side strapping and the back paneling and doing it like this makes a whole lot of sense here i don't mind the back paneling uh or you know the underarm paneling like with the real madrid shirt this looks really 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 cool really nice there it adds some some something special um so another really nice shirt and i think so far we have looked at a whole lot of really really nice shirts this is another eight star jersey in my book and then we come to Inter and Nike. This Nike template is already one of my least favorite ones uh, because it's too, it's not even boxy. I mean, uh, the way it's done on the, on the shoulders is just as weird. Although I think in this instance, it actually just worked out fine. I have more of a problem. What's the striping here all about? And especially around the sleeves, the striping looks completely odd. I mean, you have one side that's here a little bit black, another one is a little bit more blue. Um, it is very nonsense. I wouldn't even mind the uh, the pixelated striping, but you know these different widths and, and so on. It just looks odd. I, it just looks odd and weird. In match, it looks inter, but I have to, have to say, also don't necessarily like the blue color on the black all that much. It's an inter stress that has me head scratching. Also. The other thing that I find is a chance miss, you have the logo in yellow, you have the swoosh in yellow. Why do you put the cocada above the swoosh? You could put it centrally, that's another uh, gripe of mine. But the Paramount Plus logo is in white. To really make this work, this should also be in yellow. So it's like a rather disjointed effort. It's an inter jersey. I thought when I saw the first stick that I actually I could get, get, get on board with it. No, I cannot. Uh, it just looks weird. It just looks way too weird for me, and this is by far the worst churches we've seen so far. I'm gonna give this uh, three stars only. However, while it's a similar uh, idea, the away jersey I really like. Again, pixelated effect, but the way, it's just Paramount Plus through there. You have the sash in uh, blue and black, and you know, it even switches colors, which I think is a nice touch in there. It's a really nice looking shirt. Uh, nothing special, but the sash makes it special. A sash works best on a very plain shirt. Really like this one. Here I even can kind of defend that the cocarda is above the swoosh, although I still would place it in between if it was me. But it makes some sort of sense to have the swoosh, and uh, not the swoosh, the um, sash a little bit stand out more. Uh, it's a really nice one. Uh, we're gonna go eight stars here. And then they also released the third jersey in orange. And while uh, orange jersey for Inter are nothing really new. We had that before. I don't mind it, but I, the accent colors are off. Those should be black and blue and not uh, light gray and dark gray. Uh, they should be black and, and blue. It would make much more sense. So in that sense, it's kind of a little bit of a chance missed, honestly. And yeah, I know gray jerseys. We had this uh, famous third jersey a few times, but uh, it just uh, it looks weird, weird to me. I think it would look better if it was trimmed in club's colors, honestly. For that reason, yeah, four stars for this one. Uh, if you go orange, you need to trim it right. Going back to Spain, I think this is our first Macron team. We have Real Sociedad who have hired a local artist to design their jerseys. And the idea behind it, I think, is really cool. You have these 3D columns that are kind of twisting. And then there's this little space to make space for the uh, Real Sociedad logo. I wonder couldn't they have done it the same thing for the Macron logo because it kind of looks weird it's twisted and then the logo is just on there this could have worked in better uh, so that I really like and you know as a mathematical person myself I actually can really appreciate this uh, quite some makes it for a really nice shirt however there are two things that bug me I a find the color a little bit odd and it trimmed in black that's something I am not so sold on and secondly, I would wish that the blue stripes are a little bit more vibrant, like the Real Sociedad shirt back there. Uh, it has too much of a dull metallic sheen to it that I don't quite enjoy so much. 
that's my only real gripe. Uh, so it's kind of a really cool idea. And, you know, having a local artist uh, attached to it makes it even better. Just the final product does not quite do it for me. It's still a really nice shirt. And, uh, yeah, I have a hard time giving it a low grade. So I want to give it 8 uh, because of the idea. I think that the away jersey is even cooler because you have only now this one column on the side. And this is kind of this navy blue. And then the white column in there I think is cool. Again, I would like the shade of the blue a little bit slightly different this is again too metallic a, a teeny bit too dull in a way but other than that i think i really like this one i kind of this is kind of on earmark maybe i should get an also set out away jersey and that might just be one of those that i do enjoy quite some so uh, i saw it against the real madrid it looked good in play as well uh so yeah i'm also I really like it and especially the 3D effect in there is cool um, but I'm also gonna go 8 and I will do something very similar for the third jersey that they played in Salzburg in uh, really nice I think it has a little bit more um, character in the sense because the color is also in contrasted uh, color so uh, while the waitress is all in navy blue here you have the white but then it's kind of a little bit accentuated it's not pure by uh, the darker color and the sleeve cuffs which makes it also look quite nice again teeny bit more uh, the shade is not quite right Other, uh, otherwise these, these, these would go really high up in my book but i'm gonna give it eight and we ended with just one single jersey from salzburg because uh you saw already in the austrian league that the jerseys they were in the league and for home games they've only released a home jersey and i'm sure against inter they will need another jersey and i wonder if they will just re-release the league jersey or they'll come up with a white version for that so uh watch that space in a way uh <laughs> i'm not sure if i will get to it black they have worn in the champions league before and with the trimmed with red i think it's a fine it's an okay jersey but as so often with red bull jerseys it's nothing special honestly uh but yeah it's a nice look i think that red bull salzburg is a little bit too much changing the identity of the club but that, that's what they are known for any anyway you can watch a whole video on that uh that they don't care too much about identity i think they're switching around too much for me i think you should stay a little bit like live leipzig with this is my look for the season and then yeah release a european shirt but hey so be it. That shirt itself is, is not bad. Uh, of course, I would like the color combination, but it's also not the greatest. So for that reason, um, yeah, let's go six and we'll end it here. There were quite some really nice shirts in there. I think it's only Inter that led, led us down here in a way. What do you think? This is at least my, my opinion. What do you think about this jersey in here? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below and let, let me know which jersey you liked and where you agree and disagree with me. And I will talk to you soon, hopefully healthier, next time around. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!